pretty decent. I'm just using the camera by itself. First and foremost, Happy New Year to everybody out there. Hopefully you're having a glorious year. And when I said that 2020 was, uh, 2021 was gonna be worse than 2020, I wasn't kidding, I was dead serious, but uh, I'm gonna cut off of that real quick. What I'm showing you here is a location where previously, you can see it's still building. It was just dirt, nothing, nothing was here. And you know, this part of, across the street here, I've been there for some years now, but why am I, bring, why am I referencing this? I'm referencing this because Imagine at some point in time somebody said, you know what? We can build something over here. I'm just going on here real quick so you can see what I'm talking about. It's just dirt. All this is just looking like everything over here to the right. Just that kind of dead grass and stuff. That's what it was for the whole period of time for years. But then, of course, you can see they're developing it. The reason I'm referencing this because if you hang on a lot of people who keep telling you you can't do nothing, you, you can't do nothing, and, and, and you might have the ability to create something but you keep hanging on people who keep telling you right, you can't do nothing you can't do nothing you can't do nothing. And guess what happens you really ain't gonna do nothing you know what they need to do is be honest and say I can't do anything you know but they're not gonna take that type of ownership because a lot of times these people are losers deep down inside and it's, it's amazing that the internet have given so many losers a voice and <laughs> you become conditioned to listen to these losers direct you and tell you what you can do you're not even telling yourself what you can do you're listening to these losers tell you what you can do and you begin to believe it you know what you tell your subconscious becomes your reality i don't know if you realize that but it really is true it becomes your reality i guess i had a really bad accident there oh well it becomes your reality. As you can see now, it's just been well developed years ago. But I remember 10 years ago, didn't have nothing to say at all, man. It was just bush. Man, it didn't have a road. I couldn't even drive through here like this, man. It was just bush. None of this was here at all. Nothing. But somebody had the ability to have foresight and say, well, city planning and so forth came and said, let's create this little community here. And then you build apartments and you build houses and you kind of work your way out. That's how you end up building little cities and so forth, little town, towns and so forth. But for some reason you hang around people who don't have any type of uh, forward thinking they indoctrinate you into their way of thinking and before long you're not even you're a shadow of yourself because you don't even think the way you think the more you, you think you adopt somebody else's ideology somebody else's weakness somebody else's bias and you really believe it is yours it's only when you stop and think about it and say, wait a minute, man. This don't make no damn sense. This, I mean, what happened to me? Some of us, it happens quickly. Some of us, it takes years before we can see it. Listen, what's going on in 2021 is going to be a continuation of 2020. We already see them starting the same campaign with this uh, mutation strand of this virus and all that stuff. Listen, that stuff don't make no sense. You just got to use your own intelligence and really get to understand what, and see what's going on. Like I said before, I've never seen a virus where you, you can stand up, you put your mask on, but you sit down, you can take it off to eat at a restaurant. It's fine. How does that work? It doesn't make any sense. But people tell you it makes sense. And then I saw one store had is children under 12 years old don't have to wear a mask. Some store said children under two. Why the discrepancy? Ah, man. So are the kids immune to something? How can they be immune to it if they never had it? Unless they had it when they had a, a vaccine when they was born, and you have no idea what the vaccines it was given. Because soon the baby is born, if you have been in the room, I can tell you, because I had two daughters, they take the baby, and you don't know what the baby, then they come back later on with the baby. Like You don't know what happened to the baby when the baby's gone. <laughs> you don't know what happened. You got to trust and have faith, but you don't really know what happened. Ah, oh boy. At some point, you're gonna have to put away some of the nonsense. Like, like, like the good book said, I don't know how to quote it verbatim, but I'm gonna try my best. When I was a child, I thought like a child. I uh, reasoned like a child. I behaved like a child. But when I became a man, I put such childish things behind me. Now, I probably quoted it wrong, but you got the gist of what I'm trying to say. 
at some point you're gonna have to grow up and start thinking for yourself if the mainstream leaders keep telling you the same thing over and over and over and over you gotta ask yourself wait wait a minute wait a minute why do they keep telling me the same thing over and over what are they trying to convince me of you know so like a person who's not trustworthy or a liar they keep trying to convince you of the lie over and over and if you have a weak mind be eventually begin to believe the lie like yeah you know what it, it is true that's what they call a good manipulator they get you to believe what they are selling and you, you, you put your logic on the side and say, well, wait a minute, man, you know, you know they, they make a very good argument. <laughs> yeah, of course they do. They have many years to practice this. You need to ask yourself these questions. When has the media been so concerned about deaths? When has they been so concerned about keeping score about who dies? They never did it for cancer and heart disease. Huh? Or upper or lower toy, or respiratory disease? They never did it really for influenza. They haven't really done it for car accidents. I mean, you might see some billboards every once in a while when it comes towards a festival, uh, a festivi festival time, you know, when it's like 4th of July or New Year's, you know, people are prone to drink and drive, you know. Then they might go ahead and put something up on the billboards so you know how many people die from car wrecks or drunken driving and so forth. But it don't be all plastered upon the news 24 hours a day just telling you who died, how many people died, how many people. Why is that? These are questions you need to ask. I've asked myself those questions and I've come to my own conclusion, but I'm not going to tell you my conclusion because you need to come to that conclusion for yourself. Like my man Morpheus said, I cannot tell you what the matrix is. You have to see that for yourself. Some of you might notice that I've changed my name again on the channel from Transcendent Sage. Now I've just call myself dark alchemist it's for a reason I no longer want to spend time trying to educate or show people what's going on that to me is very stressful and I've been at that for 10 years now uh, when I look back when I created this channel it was 2011 I said okay that's long enough I'm at the point now you either got it or you don't I'm gonna link in the description box to a very, uh, brother who does really good work called Kenny Adua. I'm gonna link it to his YouTube channel and he can go ahead and educate people along those lines. Because me personally, it's not worth it. It's like having a conversation with a dead person. And you know how difficult that could be or how one-sided that's going to be. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to do that anymore. I appreciate all of you guys who've been around there from early on i appreciate those of you who commented and like and everything else but yeah i'm gonna turn this channel into something else you might be wondering why do i create why don't i create another channel well i really don't want to create another channel i created enough channels and this takes a lot of work to have a to have content on all your channels that you have so i'm just gonna use this channel to talk about pretty much what i want to talk about whether it be gaming whatever have you that's just what i'm gonna do so those of you who don't want to stick around, I appreciate it. No problem, no hard feelings. I mean, 10 years is a long time anyway, true. So I don't expect you to be here forever because everything that has a beginning has an end. IV Alpha has an Omega, so it's okay. I'm not worried about that too much. But listen, don't fret too much about this year because we're going to have way more crazy stuff happen this year as we can already see by the beginning of what happened this year with the, the storming of the Capitol building. And that, that to me, that me with more questions than I have answers for because uh, to my knowledge, they knew that these people were coming up there. I mean, it's not like it was a surprise. I mean, I know I got an old guy on the internet talking about, you know, it wasn't a surprise. It was a surprise. No, it was a surprise. It wasn't a surprise because they saw them gathering away from the Capitol hours before they actually stormed the Capitol. So and when it got to the Capitol, you know, I don't know. They say the president didn't call it. Didn't call it a national guard. Okay, cool, no problem. I understand that, but it still seemed a bit suspect to me. Not saying it's, it was all planned out. Some parts of it seemed a bit scripted, like when the officers being chased up the stairs and the cameraman. I mean, the thing was in perfect focus, no jiggling, anything. Like, wait, you got it? You got some kind of stabilizing gam gimbal, gimbal or something? I mean, what's up? It just seemed a bit odd. It just seemed a bit odd. And the young lady that was shot, well, my condolences go out to the family, but my question is, why were you there? It's one thing to be there, but she didn't get shot outside the Capitol. She got shot 
inside the Capitol. You see what I'm saying? She didn't belong there in the first place. It's one thing to go there and you stay outside. It's okay. I'm, this is as far as I'm going to go. But you went in the Capitol? Uh, what do you think was going to happen? You didn't think they had guns in the Capitol? I mean, I, I'm, I'm trying to... See, that's a problem. That's probably my problem. I have too much logic, man. I, I got to be more emotional. So maybe I could be just in my emotions. But in my logic, I'm like, well, why would I go in the Capitol? First and foremost, first of all, there's nothing there that I want. So I wouldn't be going in there to begin with. But secondly, if I was crazy enough to actually go there for the protesting, you know how I feel about protesting, I would have never been there. But just say I was crazy enough to go there. I damn sure wasn't going in the Capitol. Like, I mean, they got cameras all over that place. What do you think when they, what do you think is gonna happen after this dies down? They're gonna prosecute everybody that was there because they're gonna go through all the footage. Believe me, it could take them six months. You better believe it. Somebody's well, a whole lot of people are going to prison. That's, they already got the one guy who was there. And he he shows back up in New York like he like he never went nowhere like no I didn't go nowhere yeah they, they don't got you ready bro they don't got I think not the same guy who was in the Capitol uh, Nancy Pelosi seat I'm not 100 percent certain but uh, some from, some fellow from New York <laughs> bro they don't got all you guys on camera it's, it's a done deal you might as well just go on down to the FBI wherever it is and just go ahead and turn yourself look man I was here man I don't want to wait for when you can come and charge me just go ahead and charge me not get it out of the way man because they're gonna come. They, they're coming for you it's only a matter of time but they're coming for you okay so you might feel like you got away but they're coming you have made america look like a laughing stock america could never tell any country especially africa about their election process ever again okay because this is the whole world was able to see this is <laughs> so america has no place to say anything anymore don't even open your mind about elect corruption, for, uh, election fraud. Like, oh, no, remember America, remember 2020 and 2021 when your president said the vote was stolen and when your citizens stormed your capital? You have nothing to speak on ever again. <laughs> Side note, during the same process, the lie was overshadowed by all that's going on in America, but Africa decided to go ahead and start trading with other African countries. This is great on African states. I can't remember what the act is. If I can remember to put it in a video, I will. But uh, yeah, they decided to trade with each other, which is a great thing. I mean, that they should have been doing that. But hey, I'm happy it's happening now in 2021. But it, it just goes to show you, man. <laughs> Progress is being made on the African continent. Even though you might not hear about it, it's still being made. But I know I know some of you saying now, getting back to the, the capital raid and everything else, that um, if that was us, yeah, we know how that would have played out, but don't waste too much energy on that, okay? You're going down the wrong road. We, we, we all know that. They, they know it. They even put it in their, in their news, so they acknowledge that. Don't go down that road putting all the energy on. Oh, that was us. They were, yeah, yeah, we know that. We get it. We get it. What you need to focus on, I'm going to be real honest to you. And hopefully this mic can pick up, pick me up really well, cause I don't have my uh, my other stuff with me, my uh, my Zoom H6 with me. But um, listen, you need to focus on your economics, really and truly. Focus on your economics. I don't know too many problems that I have that money can't solve. I'm just gonna be real honest with y'all. Say it again. I don't know too many problems that I have. I'm talking about me now, individual that I have that money can't solve. They have fooled us into thinking that money is the root of all evil, which is really the opposite, to tell you the truth. Like I said before on one video, I believe I did, I don't know. But um, people commit crimes mainly because of money. People stand on the street selling their bodies mainly because of money. People, you know, dance and so forth, naked, mainly because of money. So if you want to talk about, if you think that's a sin, I mean, I'm not here to judge anybody. I'm just saying it. The problem is money, lack of money. So get your money right and you won't have a lot of these problems in society, in your society. You don't home invade somebody and the chance you might get shot to death unless you think they got some money or something you can sell for what? Money. Okay, so but they have fooled us into thinking that, hey, you know, the root of uh, evil, money is the root of all evil. 
yet the pastors seem to be some pastors seem to be amassing a hell of a lot of evil then because this they seem to have a hell of a lot of money you know who they are is big lavish houses fancy cars jets airports behind the house oh so wait a minute if the root of all evil is money then why the hell are you going to church for then <laughs> As, at some point, man, you have to start thinking on a level that you can attain information for yourself. Stop believing all the gobbledygook you hear on the mainstream media. It is not even news anymore. It used to be news in our grandparents' time and even our parents' time. But now in our time, there are nothing more than opinion pieces. That's it. Opinions that they pass off to the masses as being news. They all say the same thing verbatim as if they were reading a script because they are. You have four families that say control all the media we consume. Four families, are you serious? You think you're gonna get something really that's groundbreaking? No, of course not, if you're thinking. But I'm not here to tell you what to believe, what to do. You do what you choose to do and what you think is right for you and your family to do. But remember this, your beliefs don't dictate reality. I will say it again. Your beliefs do not or does not dictate reality. Okay? What does that mean? Quite simply, you can believe that uh, this this pandemic is 100% real and it's not man-made and whatever have you. That's fine, you can believe that. But the evidence proves otherwise. You can believe that wearing a mask is gonna keep you safe. But yet I know of many people who wear masks all day long and they got supposedly COVID. Hmm. How does that work when a man like me don't wear no mask? How does that work? <laughs> because you might believe something and, and you could have really good conviction behind it. It doesn't not change what is reality. That is something that we're gonna have to kind of understand. All races of people are gonna have to understand. You're gonna have to think for yourself. Question everything including what I'm saying I am not no orator of truth that I can I know everything come on I do the best I can I might get something wrong I might think something in my own logic is hey you know what I think that's the truth and then I come to find I'm wrong I'll tell you in a heartbeat I'm wrong I am not so dedicated into my uh, ideology that I can't break away so you know what I, I was wrong about that man I, I was wrong I'll come back and tell you I was wrong but many people are so proud and arrogant in their ignorance at times that they refuse, even when they're faced with the facts, they refuse to deviate from their logic. What they call saving face, I guess. So in essence, I'm not trying to make this New Year's video because I meant to do this, uh, well, I meant to make a video before the New Year's came, but. Uh, my schedule man and I just waited and then when I saw what happened in the capital I just waited I didn't want to just jump out there like many people jump out there and they don't think just jump out to make a video no I like to sit back and if you know if you've been on my channel for a while you know I always sit back and take note come to any situation from a logical point of view not based on emotions so I let the emotions subside for a couple of days and it's okay let me look at this here from a different point of view and the point of view is you got some Americans are angry about the vote. I mean, I, listen, listen, anybody with an inkling of intelligence know what happened in that election. I'm not going to go back. I'm not going to say because I know Google and them still out here censoring people because they come to America. In America, you don't have freedom of speech anymore. Google and Apple and them can shut you down. You saw what happened to the other um, network in uh, the chat. I can't remember the name of the, 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 the something with a P. Can't remember right now. Can't come to me right now. But I, I'm not for. I know they have a lot of hate speech and so forth. And that's fine. Hey, I'm not for hate speech. But if that's their freedom of speech, then, hey, you know, it is what it is. But who is a corporation to dictate 
what a company can do and can't do. A private company at that. <laughs> if we don't see what's going on, man, I, I don't know what will wake some of us up if we don't see what's really happening out here. Okay? It's time to put your differences aside, man. This race nonsense and uh, that's nonsense, man. And the political differences and Republican, Democrat, listen, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. Many of these people you think are enemies of good friends that know each other's daughters and sons. And man, you'd be surprised. Okay, I remember Jesse Ventura said the same thing when he was a governor. He said he, he thought wrestling was fake, but he, he when he came to governor, he realized how fake it was also. People that go out there, give a powerful speech against the other person, and then after the speech and the cameras go off, hey, do you want to go to dinner? I'm like, what? <laughs> he couldn't believe it. It was just it was just an act for the people. The same thing with the mask. That's what they saw Nancy Pelosi in the hairdresser with no mask, and she was crying. Oh, I was set up. I was set up. <laughs> it's the same thing. Listen, I'm not for or against anybody. You believe what you want to believe is your right. Okay? Again, like I said, your beliefs will not dictate reality. So you can believe whatever you want to believe. It's the reality of it is, you know, it is what it is. You can believe that you will not die one day, but that's not gonna change reality that one day we all will meet our end. It's, there's no no it's no uh, getting around that. No matter how much money you have, you're still gonna you know crank out of here one day. So man, just Really work on what you can change. Stop wasting time on people and things you can't change. That's my that's my new saying. Life is too short for the BS. Stop wasting time on people or things you cannot change. And once you approach life from that point of view, it'll be a lot less stressful. At least I don't have no stress. I, I'm cool. I'm cool what happened to Capitol. They ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm just out here watching it. Man, some people are really upset. Don't know why they were storming the Capitol on me. I'm not in agreement for doing that kind of crap like that, but they felt in their heart, from their point of view, from their reality, that that was the right thing to do. They felt that in their heart that it was going to change something. Like I said before, their beliefs didn't change reality. Joe Biden is still the president. It didn't change anything. But sometimes when you're so misguided and you follow other people's ideology, you get swept up in that type of mess. Now you hear a lot of these people who was up there, well, I didn't even try to go in the building to push me in the building. You think they want to hear that? <laughs> Man, you go into jail, bro. You go into jail. Well, I was only there to protest you. You go into jail. It don't make no difference. See, I, I don't think they understand what's going on. Some of you African people think that they're not going to be charged. you fooling yourself. You don't understand what this has made America look like on the global scale. You really don't get it. America has looked has look like a laughing stock. And of course, they're giving all the blame to Trump. I get it. I get it. He's a big boogeyman. I get it. I get it. You know, and he said a lot of stupid stuff that he shouldn't have said. I mean, he cheated us. Hey, you know, hey man, go home, man. It, it ain't that serious, man. Go home. This man's gonna be the president. Go home. But because he's a narcissist, also, you know, he couldn't take the defeat. Whether you feel like it was rigged or not, man, me personally, I'd have been like, man, what? He won? Okay, cool. Hey, man, congratulations, bro. I'm, I'm gone. Being the president is not a great job to have, man. I mean, it's so stressful. We know everybody goes in there, comes back out looking older. So Joe already going in old. What are you going to look like when he come out? <laughs> You're already old going in. So what are you going to look like? Might look like Moses coming out. <laughs> hey, man. You got to laugh and stuff, but you, you got to laugh. You can't take it that serious, man. It'll, it'll cost you your life. And it can cost some of your life. Like what happened to that young girl that was shot in the throat? In the neck of the throat. I mean, whatever. Still in the neck. So, I mean, again, like, Condolences to the family, but she bought into that ideology that you know, and the rest is history. So it kind of remind me of Corinne Gaines bought into that ideology of sovereignty and stuff, and putting herself on the radar when she didn't have to be on the radar. But she bought into an ideology that she really believed, but it didn't change the reality that you wasn't sovereign. You know, but she bought into it though, and yeah, the rest is history. 
So why, 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 why am I referencing these different things? I'm trying to show you over the time how people buy into ideologies. That it doesn't mean them any good, but they still buy into it because they believe it. And the people that feed you that garbage deep down inside, some of them know it's garbage. And some of them are surprised that people follow them talking that garbage. But they get kind of swept up in it, you know, with hubris. And they're like, well, you know, people follow me now, so I got to keep this going. And it is what it is. You know, it's just, it is what it is, all I'm going to say. And the innocent people, you know, who mean well for the most part, end up doing some things they regret. Sometimes they don't have time to regret it because they're snuffed out of here prematurely. But anyway, man, I don't want to make this video too long. I think it's long enough, and I'm, I don't really want to drive around too much today because it says we also have some sleet and snow, light snow here forward, believe it or not. That's why it's so gloomy. It's like, it's 9.40 and it's so dark, so it's supposed to have some kind of a, some kind of sleet snowstorm or something. So I'm going to go back home where it's going to be a lot better than the roads. I mean, right now, as you can see, it's not raining or sleeting or anything, so... Man, it's 39 degrees and this dude over here begging still. But I tell you, everywhere you go, man, people out here just begging and just. Yeah. And for those of you that think that the European have European privilege, what you call white privilege, that's a European right over there. If you can see, let me turn the camera so you can see right there, right there begging. Okay, and it's cold. It's 39 degrees according to my car. It's 39 degrees. It's cold. And it's gonna get ready to sleep. Suppose this for the start of 10 o'clock. And he's out here begging. I'm like, damn. But you think they got privilege? So where's the privilege? Well, I could show you many Europeans I come across that are homeless. You know, what what privilege? I live better than him. I'm living better than him right now. Even if I, even if I lived in a small studio, of 400 square feet, still we'd be living better than this dude out here begging. You know, but you you think so? And you, you keep fooling around with this ideology. Uh, the Europeans being supreme to you. White supremacy, look, I don't have time for this coloration, man. And nobody's supreme to me. How do you fight an ide ideology? You fight it with a better ideology. That, that's, that's common sense, but... <sighs> I've talked enough, man. Listen, y'all have a great day in whatever you're going to do. And whenever I upload this video, I don't know if it'll be today, probably tomorrow. I don't know, but you take care of yourself, man. Try not to stress out too much, because... Stressing ain't gonna change anything. You complaining ain't gonna change anything. The only thing that's gonna change your reality is you and action in the right direction. You don't gotta get up in there and get in arms and trying to attack people. That ain't gonna work. Focus on what you can change. That's what I wanna keep telling you. Life is too short. Focus on the things and people you can change. Okay? Case in point, this is New Year's Revolution. Everybody making resolution, lose weight. Focus on that. Focus on losing weight. That's what you really want to be. Don't don't start in January, halfway through February, ah, and then March, and then by by June. Nah, I ain't doing that no more, man. And then come December, New Year's Resolution, you're doing the same thing. And you're making a progress. Focus on actually losing the weight. Focus on getting better shape. Focus on boosting your immune system so whatever virus out there, you won't get it. How about focusing on those kind of things? Instead of focusing on some ideology about Europeans being supreme and white privilege, man, that didn't get you nowhere but stressed out. You end up with high blood pressure, high cholesterol, hypertension, stroke, you know what I mean? Or even a heart attack. Stress is not because that kind of stress ain't good in your heart, man. I don't know if you know it or not, but it ain't good for you to be stressed out all the time. It raises your blood pressure. And you and I both know, talking about African Americans now, you lead the ranks of high blood pressure in America, so you might want to not not embrace stuff into your mental, into your mind that keep you stressed out. That to me don't make no sense. Why would you continuously focus on stuff that keep your pressure high? I mean, that's that's beyond my level of comprehension. That's beyond my level of logic. I don't get it, but some of you think it makes sense. That's why you watch all these different things and you find a way to spin it. But if that was us that stormed the capital city, yeah, 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 I get it. Again, I don't want to keep repeating myself. But what what good is that going to do you? Yes, it would have been a bloodbath, but what good is that going to do you to worry about that? You ain't going to change what happened. You're not going to reverse time. 
You're not gonna go in there and put this just to prove the whole world. See, see what happened? No, you're not gonna do that. So man, don't don't embrace that. Again, I'm gonna leave out with this man. Focus on your economics. Okay? But you focus on your economics, you can change. If you don't like living here, you can live somewhere else. You don't necessarily have to go to Africa, you can go somewhere else. You don't have to. I mean you can go anywhere. The world is yours, you can go wherever you wanna go. Okay? It's up to you. So make sure you make the best of the time you have on this earth. Don't allow other people to dictate what your reality can be. Anyway, peace. Hope 2020 is great for you. Hope you achieve whatever some of your goals and dreams. And stop letting these sick psychopaths control your mentality, man. All right? Y'all take it easy, man. I'm out.